Several young officers, as well as a colonel, were on board the downed Russian at 50 Airborne Early Warning and Control AWACS plane and the damaged IL-22 Airborne Command Post. Ukrainian Air Force spokesman Yuri Inet said on national television on January 22. I was surprised, to be honest, that junior lieutenants were on board these planes, Inet said after seeing obituaries of the crew members killed. Any loss, even if it's a young officer, is a graduate of a military academy where they study for five years. Plus, he trains in the military for a few years more, and he already has at least almost two years of combat experience. Unfortunately, the loss of the A-50 crew is thus a major blow to Russia's pool of qualified manpower. This, of course, made us feel better. Their capabilities have decreased somewhat. Inet said. Ukrainian forces shot down the A-50 AWACS plane over the Ozov Sea and damaged an IL-22 airborne command post on the evening of January 14. This incident was the first documented downing of an AWACS aircraft in history. According to Ukrainian military news outlet Defense Express, the fighter bomber telegram channel, allegedly run by Captain Ilya Tumanov of the Russian Armed Forces, reported casualties among the pilots of the downed A-50. While claiming that the damaged IL-22 successfully made an emergency landing. Another Russian A-50 airborne early warning and control AWACS plane has appeared over the Sea of Ozov. Inet said on national television on January 19th.